How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and last time I talked to this guy, and uh, I actually find out that I can tell him a bunch of different things in order to unlock stuff. Now, there is a tool online that you can use to, um, to actually figure out what you need to tell him in order to unlock different wallpapers for your PC, and you can also get one of three Pokemon eggs here. You can get either a Mareep egg, a Wooper egg, or a Slugma egg. Now, the Slugma egg is probably the one you'll need to get, and uh, I think, I don't know exactly what it is, what the, the phrase is, but according to me, or according to my ID, it should be Friend Satisfied and Fire Bicycle. So, let's just try this out. I'm not actually going to pick this thing up because I already have the Togepi egg here. But, I'll just see in case you are interested in getting this. Now, this would count as your encounter on the route. At least if you're doing it, well, in the area. At least if you're playing according to my rules. Um, oh my, is that how you feel about me? I know, I feel just so gross talking to this guy again, but... <laughs> okay, let's try a uh, fire bicycle. It's really sad that I actually I think I remember my trainer ID in this. It's so crazy Let's see if I actually remember it All right, so friend satisfied and fire bicycle Okay, you are no ordinary fan knowing such a thing. You're a trainer, right? I'll pull some strings for you I think I can swing a deal and give you this eggs. So you take good care of it. Oh, your party's full. All right, but yeah, that would end up being a Slugma egg, which is kind of neat because you do not necessarily have access to fire types. If you get that, then you will not be able to actually hatch the Togepi egg if you're playing in the Wedlock Challenge. You have to pick up the uh, the Togepi egg, though, but you, uh, you wouldn't be able to hatch it because... You already got Slugma, so if it hatched, you'd have to release it right away because you already got an encounter on the area. Now, really quick, I actually want to just talk to him again because I want to unlock one of these boxes. Now, I think this one may very well change based on your uh, trainer ID. I think the others, the Pokemon, they are... I think they are the same. Where is Steadfast? Did I miss it? There it is. Okay, um, but I think the different boxes, wallpapers for those, vary based off of your trainer ID. So, you'll probably need to use the calculator tool in the description of this video if you want to unlock these yourself. I'm just going to uh, unlock one that I think looks really cool. It's of the, the Pichu, the shiny Pichu, and the spiky-eared Pichu. I don't know, I really like them for some reason. Um, Alright, Rental Sirius. Let's try this out. Okay, new wallpaper, nice. Great, let's just see it. I never did this before. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy, huh? Now I'm not going to deposit or anything. I'm going to go in and move. Let's just see what we have here. All right, box one. Whoops. <laughs> now I can just see in every future box, everyone's going, or every future video, everyone's going to be like, how did you change your, your, uh, your PC box? How did you make it look so cool? Well, here you go. It was done in part five. Yeah, I know, but this looks adorable. Okay, anyway, uh, now that that's done, it is time to head on to Route 32! Yeah! And I already caught something there. I caught my Rattata. Oh, let's talk to Shard de Berry guy. Shard de Berry! Shard de Berry! Yeah, yeah, I trade berry. Oh, wait, no, actually, that's right. He doesn't give me a berry each day. No! Why would he be so generous? No, instead, he's just going to talk all weird. But I will pick this Apricorn, because, uh, why not? It's kind of weird. A yellow apricorn. Missing a few vowels. I'd like to buy a vowel, please! <laughs> oh, okay, I can move on this way. Uh, why am I going in here? I need to see... Oh, I know who I have active. I have turnip active. What the heck? I didn't heal. Last episode, I'm like, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. So what do I do? 
I go talk to that guy and whisper inappropriate things in his ear. Yeah, what is that all about? Man, I had a clear mission and I got distracted talking to the guy wearing that shirt. Oh well, at least he gave me what I want. <laughs> oh, that sounded so wrong. I just have to remember, I'm playing as a girl trainer. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, let's... Let's do this. Yeah, so I was looking up how to pronounce that berry, that, that lychee or lychee. And it turns out both are in a way correct. Lychee berry, I think, from what I've gathered doing some research onto internet. Oh, I wanted to reap. Um. From what I've gathered due to research on the internet, seems like lychee is more the Mandarin pronunciation, although it is also widely in use in the United States. But there's also lychee, which is very popularly used as well. So I guess it's one of those things that you can actually pronounce either way you want. I guess it's like pecan or pecan, um, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, I guess I feel a little bit better about that. I was just having, oh, what is this? It's like, it's lychee drink or lychee drink or wh whatever it is. Um, it's good. It's like, I don't know. I got it in the, the oriental section. I went grocery shopping. Um, actually went grocery shopping on Friday, which is when I'm actually playing this. I'll let you know, I have busy weekends. So oftentimes I do the recordings for my weekend videos ahead of time um but yeah I, I had some lychee drink and it was really good and then i had this lychee plus pomegranate drink and it was also really darn good i'm all lycheed up today <laughs> zubat huh let's see oh i don't need to use you cantaloupe i know it's a better move but i really need to uh I need Turnip to pick up the pace here. Yeah, he needs to get some experience. Oh, no. All right, you know what I was just saying? <laughs> Take back everything I was just saying. I don't want to say it anymore. I'm going to switch for Cantaloupe. Uh, I do not want to be confused. That is just terrible. That is the worst thing. I hate it. it needs to stop. Ugh. Okay, get hit for one damage. I'm going to rock throw. What the heck? I'm faster than a Zubat. Cantaloupe, you're so fast. You're strong. <laughs> yeah, I'm so strong. Okay. Um, I'm going to send out these two, actually. Give them a chance to catch up. I really should be training these two, but I think they're going to need just a bit more training before they can fight. I guess they'll be okay. Well, level 8, that's nothing to mess around with. Especially since I don't have anything strong to replace it with. I'll leave you be. I'll leave you be, a rat. Okay, what do we have over here? Oh yeah, legs found some repel. Don't know if that'll come in handy or not. Actually, it will. I could use that to get down to the basement. Which is where I find all the cool Pokemon anyway. The basement of the Union Cave. That's where my next encounter will be. How exciting is that? Level 6 Wooper. I think I'll try to take this thing out. Oh, that is good. Lettuce, you're so strong. I'm so glad to say that. <laughs> it's like, oh man. You were a Metapod for too long. Hey, what are you doing? Looking at the wall. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you know, like, pardon, Pokemon battle, I'm on the phone. Oh, all right, I'll accept your challenge. Hang on a moment, I gotta fight this scrub. She's like, all up in my business. Oh, what a matchup. Oh, this is great. Okay, um, you are gonna get confusion. Yes, you are. Oh. oh, now someone made an interesting point about Nidoran, how uh, if you're looking at it with its name there, 
You'll notice it doesn't have a gender. What is that about? Yeah, if you do not nickname your Nidoran, the gender symbol will be in its name and you won't see the gender symbol. However, if you do give it a nickname, then it will be just uh, just like normal. So you do still count Nidoran as whatever gender it is. Just because you don't see the color symbol for male or female does not mean you do not count it. Nice try. <laughs> oh, you're like on a big journey to see the sights. Neat, let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? I wanna hear about everything you've seen. Oh sure, why not? You're gonna call me up like every five minutes, aren't you? You sound like one of those kind of people. One of those gossip queens. Did I switch both of them around? Yes, I did. I feel good about that. Ooh, there's some water types coming up. Although, I don't know what I can do against them. Um, Man, I do kind of want to train Carrot. I just, oh, this is going to be such a pain. I can only fight with these two. That means I have to go all the way back. Well, I guess I'll be able to take out some stuff with Vine Whip coming up. Well, let's fight. My Pokemon, freshly called. All right. Freshly caught Pokemon, huh? All right, Fisherman Henry. Oh, you got a Poliwag. Why do I remember this thing being awful? I have this bad feeling about it. Let's hit it with confusion and hope for the best. Well, this is looking promising. Oh no. Maybe that's it. Maybe it likes to use hypnosis. Oh, that is so gross. Do I even have an awakening? I don't even have an awakening. Ugh, I'm just gonna have to wait it out. I could switch, but... Oh, come on. Ew! <laughs> Water sport, gross. That was so much better than the Emerald Nuzlocke. Oh man, that was terrible. In Pokemon Emerald, when you use Water Sport, it's like it sprays water all over the place, like a like a hose. Let's just say uh, <laughs> it's just gross. Oh, uh, what is this? You break out of confusion on your first try. You hit me with hypnosis. You lower my speed with bubble. I'm asleep for three turns. Man, this is just a bad luck day. Well, it could be. What is this? It's like a 10% chance of that happening. And you have it happen to you twice. In like four hits. It doesn't even make sense. Poison powder? Heck yeah! Let's get rid of that stupid string shot. Don't need that. <laughs> the foe is bound with silk blown from the user's mouth. What a description. I don't think you're into that, Lettuce. Uh, oh, Stun Spore. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. Uh, we're going to get rid of Harden because that is totally inappropriate at this point. <laughs> All right. We're going to give you Stun Spore. Wow. Whoa! This is like... This is... Man, I thought Christmas was over. It's like a late Christmas. Oh, man. Sleep Powder is the best on you. Oh, this is amazing. You know, I don't even need Stun Spore. Well, I don't really need Tackle either. I don't think I'm going to run into any dark types anytime soon. So I'm going to get rid of this. Obviously, it's super redundant having three different status moves. But you never know. I'll leave it for now. It's really no big deal. Because they were replacing better moves anyway. Now watch this. This is just so broke. Oh, that's right. That's right, I am slow. But look at this. I will always hit because I have uh, compound eyes as my ability, which raises my accuracy by 30%. And that's like like the, the base value. So I actually am hitting with 105% on sleep powder. It's an auto sleep. It's so good. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. Butterfree is so overpowered. Okay, let's quick attack. 
and take you out. Yeah. Splash? <laughs> Splash? Whatever. Um, okay. That is... That's just great. That's awesome. Oh, doesn't this guy use a Magikarp? One of these guys uses a Magikarp. The other uses a Golding. Whoa! You made me lose that fish! <laughs> I'm sorry I made you lose that fish. Oh, this must be the Magikarp guy. He's not like the Magikarp guy, but he is a Magikarp guy. Um, we're just gonna end this quickly. Get out of my face, you splashing fish. You flounderous freak. Oh, what? All right, don't go too far now. I can only switch to other, uh, well, to my other partner here. Yeah, I can't even switch to my other Pokemon. It's that hardcore of a challenge. That's the wedlock, just in case you weren't paying attention for these last few episodes. Because, you know, no one ever pays attention in any of these episodes. What the heck? Why that thing so fast? Jeez. Oh, these things are gross. They don't give any experience, it seems. Oh my god, that thing is level 15. So overpowered. Yeah, why was I using Scratch anyway? It used Splash, but nothing happened! Did you know that you can't use Splash? What? It hit me! Wow, that is hardcore. You can't use Splash if gravity is active. It's like, what? It's not like it did anything anyway. What did I ever do to you, Gravity? Come on. Jeez. Don't have to be so rude. I guess even Splash obeys Gravity. All right, Apricot, you did it. You only have uh, three levels to go, I think. I think you evolve a level 15, if I recall correctly. And hopefully I do, because that'd be good. Because I don't like it when I don't recall correctly. Because that stinks, and I don't like it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the, uh, the lychees have gotten to me. Or the lychees. The little lychees have gotten to me. <laughs> oh, that sounds even worse. Sploosh! <laughs> that is indecent, sir! Oh my god, he just sploshed. <laughs> <laughs> he just splooshed. Calm, collected, the essence of fishing in Pokemon is the same. Sploosh! Oh, that is so wrong. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm even better at Pokemon. Sploosh! Oh, that is not right. Thank goodness he is not using the same sprite as an emerald. Oh my goodness, the sprite for the fisherman and emerald look terrible. Look at this! This is so boss. I'm just gonna sleep powder you, and you're gonna fall asleep, and now I just get to hit you like crazy. Butterfree is so good. Oh, yeah, lettuce. This is awesome. Yes! Stay in a slumber. Whoa, that is a lot of experience. Chew! I tried to rush things. All right, no need to rush. Don't young people fish anymore? I can teach you how to fish well if you'd like to exchange phone numbers with me. <laughs> well, that's mildly creepy. Sploosh! <laughs> that's great, I'm happy to have made a younger friend. Uh, Walking away, just gonna walk away. Just, oh God, I remember this guy. I don't remember what he uses, but I remember he's really hard. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. At least I think it's really hard. I don't remember what it is. But I always remember this guy, Youngster Gordon. Oh yeah, Wooper, that's right, because this is such a pain. If you start with Cyndaquil, this guy can just do a lot, because you don't really have anything you can do against it. 
It just takes forever to knock it out. And it's going to be hitting you for a lot of damage. Well, I don't even care. I'm just going to confusion it. Show it a thing or two. Oh, what is that? Come on. Oh, well, I don't even care. I can just do it again. I don't even have to worry about missing. You may be frail, Lettuce, but at this point in the game, you're so overpowered, it's not even funny. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What is that? Dude, I put it to sleep two times, and each time it wakes up after the first turn. That's insane. Why doesn't that ever happen to me? Ugh. Shucks, I thought I could win. Yeah, because you're a cheater. Clearly. Alright, I'm gonna use my Ipricot. Ipricot. I know, I know! I'm going all Aussie here. Each Pokemon has its own nature. They seem different each time, or every time I catch one. So there must be many natures. There must be. Oh, it's a Zubat. Oh, but I've got a Zubat. And I've already caught something here. And I don't care. And I'm gonna flood with, or flee with Runaway. Ooh, she's a little runaway. Uh, Bellsprout. Or it's, uh, I'm trying to remember. There's a Bon Jovi song like that. And I don't know why on earth I'm thinking of that now. It's just like, I think I heard that song way too often. When I was, uh, oh, you know, traveling for the... I think that was on the Video Game Championship playlist. I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe not. Ugh. Get this stupid thing out of here. I'm gonna take it out just to see what I can do. There's a Pokemon Center, like, right around the corner. You hit way harder than I think you do, Apricot. Apricot? Apricot. Yeah. I think that's how they pronounce it down under. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. One of these days, I'm gonna have to greet everyone. Good day, everyone. Maryland here. Uh, but not today. Shoot. I could use turnip too, huh? Oh, well, let's see what you have. That glance. It's intriguing. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite lines. That glance. It's intriguing. <laughs> that's it. That's just... All you're gonna say. He's intrigued by my glance. Okay. Oh, this thing doesn't have double kick, does it? I really hope it doesn't. I'm just gonna get out of the way. That glance. It's intriguing. Oh my goodness, I called it. I could not remember what level it learned it, but that was... A little scarier than it should have been. <laughs> oh, what? What is this? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Double kick that. Hmm. This is disappointing. That glance. It's intriguing. If you don't want to battle, just avoid eye contact. I'll get that item in a moment, don't worry. You know the one. The one on the bottom right corner of the screen. In the grass. Yeah, that one. I got Bullet Seed, but really, Vine Whip is better. Unless I get a Hop It for whatever reason, and I don't even think I can. Maybe, I don't know. There's Route 33 coming up, but if I play it at night, I can't get a Hop It. And I'm playing it at night right now. It's gonna be really weird. I'm gonna probably have to play in the daytime more often. The problem is I work in the daytime. Although I guess I could record this. I mean, you know, it's kind of work. Kind of. You know. Promoting the site. You should really check my site out. Hint, hint, hint. Um, whoa. Apricot was surprised, but the sound's in the thicket. All right, cool. Why did you get so surprised, though? I didn't know we were in a thicket. Heck 
Okay, um... Yeah, I, I got the thing. I got the thing, I'm good. What am I worried about? Shoot, I don't care. Okay, um... There are too darn many wild Pokemon around here. This is getting insane. Oh, who is this guy? How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail for you right now? Just one million Poke Dollars! <laughs> You'll want this. I thought kids these days were loaded. But yeah, he's not even gonna sell me that. Yahoo! It's Friday! Friday! Gotta get- Wait! Stop! Uh, it's Friday of Frida. Or Frida of Friday. Nice to meet you. Here's a poison barb for you. Yeah! That is great. Give it to a Pokemon that has a poison type- Or that has poison type moves. Oh, it's wicked! You'll be shocked how good it makes poison type moves. Yeah, 20% better. Really shocking. Um, right. So... That is really weird that I keep running into them at the right day. It's crazy. This area is great for fishing. Look at all those people fishing. Did you feel like, or looking at all those people fishing, did you feel like you wanted to try fishing too? Would you like one of my rods? Hey little girl, want one of my rods? <laughs> oh, gross, he's giving me his old rod. <laughs> Legs put the old rod in the, oh, key items pocket. <laughs> oh, that is so wrong. Oh, I need to stop this playthrough. It gets worse and worse. When you go fishing, face the water and use the rod first. <laughs> then concentrate and look closely at the water. And mm, appears when the Pokemon has taken a bite. Press the A button quickly to pull back on the line. You'll see what happens next. If there's water, be it sea or a stream, try out your rod. Bonjour, how are you? Are you picking apricorns? Apricorns? Uh, yeah, I am. Way to go, little Ipercorn collector. I feel great. I want to give you this. Oh, I feel so great. I want to give you this. He gave me his balls. I got an old rod and some balls here. Something is wrong with this picture. Oh, it's made with Ipercorns. Uh, consider those two as small gifts for me. Haha, <laughs> they're small. Um, that's so wrong. Ipercorns rule. I am so... What should I make my Pokemon hold? Old rod. Maybe an item that increases its attack power. Maybe. I don't know. Let's heal up. <laughs> oh, this is so wrong. Okay, uh, I am all healed up. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, I think there's someone with a Spearow coming up, but that's not going to be good for that team. Not at all. I'm not using any guides for trainers and stuff. Like, you know, all the random trainers on the route. They're arguably the most dangerous. But I am obviously going to be looking up gym leaders and things. That's kind of important. This is a hard challenge. That badge! It's from Violet City! You beat Falconer! With a question mark. I know, I did that in the wrong tone, but I don't even care. Birdkeeper Peter. Oh, he's got a Pidgey. Here I thought he had a spear. He probably does. He's probably just hiding it. He's hiding his bird. I should raise my rage. Yeah, I should do that, because Water Gun doesn't hit for anything. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. Pidgey. Another Pidgey, okay. I could totally end this with Geodude. Not with Geodude, come on, that's so long. I could end this with Cantaloupe, but I don't know, oh, that's so bad. I wanna see, I know Rage is like a terrible attack, but it's kind of fun. It's like by the time you are using it, like, you have better attacks, and most of the time that's like scratch anyway. It takes so many hits before it's even decent. Oh, there's a Spearow. This thing will fly away with you if you're not careful. Okay, let's hit it with some rage. That was terrible. 
But I'm unleashing my rage. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm actually using this attack. I see, it's like, what's the point? I could just be using Scratch. Not be locked into this thing. Oh, well, Turnip just had so much pent-up rage, he had to unleash it upon the world. Oh, what? I know what my weaknesses are. Rage, of course! How much experience do you need? Do you seriously need one? Oh, you need two. That's pretty sad. It is also pretty sad that I'm going to... Ooh, I can totally rock smash this. Hey, I should teach something Rock Smash. Although, the move deleter isn't for, like, ever. But it is 40 power in this. Oh, that's hard. Ah, oh, I don't even know. Could actually be really useful on Cantaloupe when fighting Whitney, so... Well, let's just see. What what can uh, what can I get rid of? I don't think I need... Well, Defense Curl could come in handy. So could Rock Polish. You know what? I'll get rid of Tackle. I honestly don't need Tackle if I have Rock Smash. There's really no need for it. Yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, but you're going to get Magnitude sometime. Well, I don't really need Rock Polish. Uh, let's just get rid of this. I don't really care. Whatever. I don't know what Carrot could learn. But I think I'm going to want to have you with Rock Smash anyway. So I might as well plan ahead. Oh, we should have gone back to Violet City. There's something I can smash there. Ugh, oh, I'm not going to do that now. It's not really a big deal. Shell Bell... This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Alright, I'm totally giving this to you. I think so. Heck yes. Wow. Looks like uh, we get to head inside now. Shoot. I'm going to heal because I am a noob. No, I'm going to heal because that actually took a lot out of me. And I want to use a repel to get down to the basement. Because there's slightly cooler stuff down there. I don't remember if you get Sandshrew only on the first floor or, or what. But whatever. It doesn't really matter. Because I'm going to get one. I'm going to do it. I can't get a Geodude. And I can't get a Zubat. So I'm going to get either an Onix or a... Ooh. Am I prepared for Onix? Oh, maybe. He seriously gave me two lure balls. That is creepy. What do you think? Hey, hey, talk to me. You're blankly staring in this direction. Want to call its name? Sure, why not? Hey, snap out of it, Turnip. Oh, your Pokemon seems so happy. Okay, that's just great. Um, you know, I could probably at least go inside the... The Union Cave. The Onion Cave! Yeah, let's go inside the Onion Cave. I don't think I'll be able to clear it in this episode. I don't remember when I started. Ah, uh, you know what? It would actually be really good to do this in the next episode. I know, I'm such a jerk, right? But I'll head back to Violet. I think I'll train up my, uh, my rat! I know, I'll train up, um, what is his name? I keep forgetting. Carrot! How could I forget that? I'll train Carrot and Pear up a little bit. Maybe. Just to get them in the game. They haven't really done that much. Oh, this is boring. Okay, um... Oh, no, I have to have Cut in order to talk to that guy. Don't I? Well, that's ridiculous. But why am I leading with you, Turnip, anyway? Oh, right, because you're going to level up. And why am I leading with you against a Bellsprout? Herp a derp derp. I did not think. Whatever. I'll fight something else to level you up. Ugh. Okay. Violet City. I cannot fish for any Pokemon here. Oh, I guess I could use my old rod. 
Let's see. I don't know if Cherry Grove has anything. I guess I'll look that up quick. Or not look it up, but I'm gonna go there. Uh, yeah! Hyper Potion! Right on. Although, I might be better off using Headbutt. I'm trying to think. The best place to use Headbutt is in... Oh, where is it? It's the... Southern... Azalea Town. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty good. Because I think you can get hair across there? I think so. If I recall correctly, there's like a certain spot where you can get it. Hey, none of these trainers, they don't want to like rematch me, do they? I mean, I don't really want to rematch them. Hey, talk about your Raditza some more. I'm checking out Raditza's moves and devising some strategies. When I come up with a good one, let's battle. <laughs> oh, he cracks me up. Um, so I've caught Pokemon just about everywhere. Oh, no, I got something in New Bard Town. That stinks. Whatever, let's just uh, level you up really quick. Turn up, and I'll turn this fight on over to Carrot. Oh, Shell Bell. Yeah, I healed me a big one damage. So good. <laughs> That's pretty pitiful. Not gonna lie, that is awful. That is terrible, and it takes too much time, too. Ugh, I don't want to use this thing anymore. Except it might very well come in handy. Bite. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! This is great. Let's get rid of that stupid rage. You don't need rage anyway. It's so bad. Turnip forgot how to rage. <laughs> Teach me how to rage. Okay, now let's switch for Carrot. And once you get strong enough, you can work with Pear a little bit better. Shoot, why am I over here? Might as well pick up that Apricorn. It's a culinary Apricorn. Oh, Cherry Grove City, that's right. Yeah. There is a lot of water here. I should totally fish for something. I could do it. There's nothing else I can get here. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and use an old rod. I don't even care right now. Um, I really don't. Except I don't think I'll be able to catch whatever, but let's just see what happens. Because I'm fine with using up my headbot. Head... <laughs> Headbot! I have a headbot. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we'll lead with Carrot. Oh, you know what I didn't do this episode? I didn't look at my team. I usually do that. I'm sorry. I'll show you my team in a moment. I try to do that since the bottom screen is, like, so much smaller. Okay, so my encounter in Cherry Grove City is... Magikarp! Level 10 Magikarp, too. Oh, that's right. The level's fixed in this game, if I recall correctly. So, it does not matter. Because it will always be the same level. Which is fine. I have to train it up 10 levels, and then it becomes a Gyarados. Okay, um, let's go ahead and catch you. Oh, I should have used my, my other ball. Just for kicks. It's like it doesn't even matter. Oh, well. It really doesn't. Okay, Magikarp. Magikarp, Magikarp. The King of Cop, Magic Cop. I know, it's like Spaghetti Junior, right? Um, I gotta name her Lychee now. You shall be the Lychee. Lychee, or whatever. Whatever you are. 
actually did some research this time around. Okay, there we go. Lychee was transferred. Now that is going to be an absolute pain in this. In a Nuzlocke challenge, it's no big deal. What's your problem? Oh, there we go. <laughs> your Pokemon is happily looking at Legs' footprints. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, in a normal Nuzlocke, training up a Magikarp's no big deal. But in this, it takes up one half of your... Your... Your team, or your pair. And it's not gonna do yet, like, any good. For... 10 levels in this case, so really it's a bad decision until later on in the game when, you, when you're at like a higher level and you can replace things. And it's Gyarados, which is pretty overpowered anyway. And a challenge like this, I mean, you know, you might really need it. It can make a huge difference. But, it is still pretty overpowered. Which may be good or may be bad. Depends on what kind of a player you are, if you know what I mean. Ugh, why am I still talking? I could just be skipping this video ahead or something. Doing something to entertain you. I could show you my team. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I think I'll do that and I'll just train up Carrot. A little bit more and maybe I'll train up um, pair a little bit more as well just because it feels like they could use a little bit more attention um, yeah so uh, let me just get back to Violet City just because I feel like I need to go there oh look at that it's a Rattata it looks almost like my Rattata except my Rattata is cooler it's in the top percentage of Rattata. Not really. Sorry, Carrot. It's nothing personal. Alright, uh, anyway. Uh, let me just get... Uh, darn it, darn it, darn it! One more step was all it took. That was it. That was... that. that oh, man. Why do you do this to me? And then, then this spider appears. Can't believe I didn't catch a Pidgey. That's just weird. I didn't catch a Pidgey or a Hootoot. I kind of want a flying type, because I'm not going to be able to fly. That is going to be a pain. Ugh. Anyway, let me just show you my team before I end the episode. We got a uh, Carrot, level 9. Pear, level 4. Apricot, level 12. Lettuce, level 13, Turnip, 13, and Cantaloupe, 13. Yeah, you know, they're, they're doing pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good indeed. Anyway, I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock. See you next time, fishermen! <laughs>